Hey everyone, welcome back to Entertainment Corner. Today I'm going to be doing a little pickups video. Um, actually, I have Big Lots pickups, which I probably should go ahead and add. So I'm going to pause the recording and grab those real quick. Okay, so I ended up grabbing everything else that I remember picking up. So there's some Goodwill on eBay, and then we have Big Lots, and then Hamilton Book. Um, I'm glad I remembered right before I started. So I got... This is in chronological order in terms of places I got it. So I got this from, um, from a Goodwill, these two things from a Goodwill, uh, about 40 minutes from me. And that is 911, the complete first season. Um, Fox doesn't usually release their shows, but like newer shows, but they released the first season of this, although they have many more seasons and those have not been released. So I guess that kind of proves my point. Um, 10 episodes in season one. I actually never seen the show, I know of it never seen it and I thought for 250 because it was 50% off I'd pick it up it looked like it was going for a little bit online like maybe 10 to 15 dollars so if I don't like it then I can just sell it for a little bit otherwise had it not if it was only worth a couple dollars and that's all I would have sold it for I probably wouldn't have picked it up because it's not I mean I like crime shows but it's kind of specific and this is more like first responders so I don't know the 45 minute dramas it's a lot of time investments. So I have to be really interested, and this is this wasn't at the top of my list, but because I could probably make a few dollars back, or at least make my money back and even out, but probably make a few more dollars. I figured I'd give it a shot, and maybe I'll like it. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I, I mean, it's just a really big investment to spend 45 minutes on an episode uh, for something that like you're not sure about. So the next one, and I also think that's I think this is a 45 minute drama. I believe. Um, I mean, technically they're called hour-long dramas, but they're not actually that long because of ads. This one is Bones. Um, I don't know much about this, but Tim Talks Talkies, who I've mentioned many times on this channel now, uh, him and his wife were collecting this, and I thought this might have been the last season they needed because I watched one of their videos not too long ago where they found a few seasons. Turns out it was season 11, um, but I have season 8, so I'll just like check out an episode or something, or maybe I'll start at season 1 and just like see what it's about I you know I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world if I just check out an episode of this season it's like I'm probably not gonna remember it if I ended up liking it um, I probably won't like I probably won't know the context enough for it to really even spoil anything for me um, otherwise I can just get rid of this um, it's an interesting sh looking show I guess um, and then this one I was really happy about getting um, Joey the complete first Wow, I just hit myself in the eye. <laughs> I feel like Joey right now. Uh, Joey, the complete first season. Uh, so apparently they did release the second season on, DV on DVD, but it's really expensive. I found this one for a decent price. It was about seventeen ninety nine. dollars um, Although I ended up getting it for free because um, I would say about two of the discs were kind of, I mean, pretty scratched um, to my eye. They'll probably play. I, I mean, I hope they still do, but I wasn't even trying to get a refund. I was just, I just, I gave them a middle of the road review because I, I started doing that now. It's like if I'm going to get, you know, if something says like very good, I expect maybe light scratching, but not much. Um, but like, you know, and very, like it light, if it's light scratching, maybe only a few. But like if we're talking good, I, I don't know. I still, I, I still think good to very good should mean like light scratching, and that's how I view it. But every, I mean, I guess there is some subjectivity to that. Um, but yeah, some of these discs I feel like had some scratching. But um, I wasn't saying like, oh, never buy from them. But I was just saying like, yeah, I didn't particularly care for the condition, um, and then they just completely refunded the whole thing. And I felt even worse because I mean, I don't feel bad about re leaving that review because it was true, but. Um, she then replied to me and said, you know, they're a retired couple and they're just trying to make some extra money while in retirement. And then I felt really bad. Like I wasn't trying to, like, I was not trying to get a refund. I was just like saying, Hey, I, it'll probably play, but you know, for future reference, but at least she, when she reached out to me, she's like, we'll make sure to do a better job at checking and stuff. So I, I appreciate that because that's all I really care about is just in the future people really actually look at it and again I know there is subje subjectivity in that but to me very good if very good's the step below like new it should have like pretty much no scratching good okay a little bit of scratching acceptable fair fine then that has you know 
that maybe it has a bunch of scratching but it plays that's how i view it i think that's generally how people view it but anyway um then i got so these are for, this is from big lots so the joey was from ebay bones and 911 was from goodwill and then here's my big lots haul got overboard with kurt russell it's been a long time since i've seen this one so i'm excited to check this out um that's cool and then some more hanna barbera flintstone kids i have the complete flintstones series on blu-ray so that's cool i also have pebbles and bam bam show so i have i'm sure there's more flintstone stuff but um, i have quite a bit of it and then I found this one that it was actually I made a list on Amazon of like sitcoms I want to get and just like the DVD releases they have, um, and I made a list and one of them was Anything But Love and I found that at Big Lots. I was very excited. Great, great cast: Jamie Lee Curtis and Richard Lewis. I know Richard from um, Curb, and I, th I think he was on Seinfeld as well. Um, and then Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, obviously from Halloween, but she was also in another another john carpenter probably a few but one of the other ones i saw i think it was i think it was the fog that she was in something i don't know um so that's cool very excited to check that out that's seasons one and two but i think that's the only dvd they put out for that show this one i was not expecting to see um a vestron video patrick swayze steeled on this is one of those like middle of the road kind of b movies I, I guess roadhouse technically was one of those supposedly it was a b movie from the 80s although it's become a cult classic and it, to me it's better than most like major movies um but yeah this one's definitely more middle of the road i didn't f so i popped it in last night and not necessarily because it was like super boring or anything i just started to fall asleep because i was really tired um so i, I only really caught probably 15 minutes of the 40 minutes i had made it through um it, it was kind of interesting the fight the fight scene at the very beginning of the, the opening of the movie was kind of interesting i was like okay what's going on here it's very like future well at least i think it's future it seems future uh, apocalyptic kind of world um let me know what you think i was just kind of surprised to see a vestron video release there and it was like 7.99 and um patrick swayze i just anything in it anything with him in it i'll check it out so when i'm not as tired i'll definitely rewatch like you know, actually watch it all the way through and, and see what I think. But again, Vestron video for seven ninety nine or whatever it was, not a bad deal at all. And then this I did know was at um, Big Lots because people were posting on Reddit about it. I wasn't actually going to Big Lots for this because I wasn't even sure I was going to grab it. But once I got there, I saw this was the only one left. And I was like, you know what, I'll grab it. And that's Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3 Steelbook. I don't really collect Steelbooks, but, um, but the Season 3 on Blu-ray is cool. So... It freaked me out though because I opened it up and there's two discs with a third disc. And I was like, did I just get screwed? That was the last copy. Well, I looked it up. That's the way they packaged it, which makes no sense. I wonder how many people have gotten scared opening this thing. Um, because why use a three disc like like insert or why use a one disc and then a and then a two disc when you could just do two one discs? I don't know. Companies are weird. <sighs> But anyway, um, so I, so my backstory on Ash vs. Evil Dead is I've seen Army of Darkness, which is only technically loosely connected, I suppose, um, and I haven't seen the first two Evil Deads, um, although my dad tells me the second one is just a, basically a remake of the first one, um, just, I think, a little bit better on the special effects and whatnot. Um, and then after we watched Army of Darkness, my friend showed me, because he's a big like evil dead bruce campbell fan um i was at his place and we we watched the first episode of the first season of ash versus evil dead um and i liked it so i was like I'll, I'll definitely check it out um so i'll have to get seasons one and two on blu-ray but i have three now and the, the market value for this was like 50 dollars. i think i mean that's what that sticker said I, I don't know but i got it for 9.99 i believe so pretty dang good deal and that is it for my big lots haul Okay, and then now we have my Hamilton book haul, which just came, and I just opened all this up. Um, I, I alphabetized it because there wasn't too much stuff. So I usually would just buy uh, Blu-rays and 4Ks from Hamilton. Oh, huh. I just I just thought of two more things. I, I had gotten another Hamilton book haul that I didn't get too long ago. Uh, I'll show those at the end. I'll grab those at the end. But um, anyway, 
usually I just get Blu-rays and 4Ks, but I didn't think about looking at the DVDs. And when I made that sitcom list on a DVD for on Amazon, I was like, okay, well, why don't I check Hamilton Book? Because they have good deals, and it's always you know it's all brand new stuff. So I checked out the DVD section. Had quite a bit of good stuff in there. Um, pretty cheap too, like the you know like seasons or multi seasons typically pretty cheap and they actually had good deals on some com big complete series sets I just some of those shows weren't really my favorite like leave it to beaver I means fine show but it's nothing I'm particularly interested in and if I ever became interested in it I know there's the blu-ray so I'd always pick the blu-ray over the DVD anyway um, so this one I was really happy to find because this one I was really interested in checking out with uh, Kelsey Grammer and Pat Patricia Heaton back to you season one and this one has um, actually two behind the scenes little featurettes which is really cool and I think this is um, I don't know how many episodes this is I think this might be a 22 oh it has an insert okay um, there's three discs um, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, it's got seventeen episodes. Um, I, I haven't been showing all the insides. Sorry, I just I don't know if I'll even continue doing it. But um, but actually, on the back here, it looks like that. That looks like the guy from um, Modern Family. What's his name? Uh, his name's Phil in the show. What's his name in real life? I don't remember. And I've also seen this guy before, but I don't remember his name either. Anyway, looks kind of looks like a fun sitcom. I'm I'm just crazy about sitcoms, so I'll pretty much pick up any of them. Um, I just I love them. except for older. St There's some older stuff I like, but like from the 60s and 50s, and and some early 70s. It's like it just really depends. But anything like 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, I'll check out. Next up is Broad City. Um, I've heard of this, never seen it. Um, kind of interested in seeing what it's about. It's one of these newer kind of, I think it's a little bit more like mockumentary kind of show, or at least single camera, I should say. I don't know if it's exactly a mockumentary. Um, and then we have, this one is the follow-up to, well, a follow-up series. Not follow-up as in it's connected, but just based on career. Cougar Town with Courtney Cox. Um, I really enjoyed Friends. I just finished that a couple, like two months ago, um, and I thought I'd give Cougar Town a shot. Um, I did see actually at my local video game store a show called Dirt season one. I looked it up, and it just it does not sound like a show I'd be really interested in. And it, they were asking like I think like it's either four or seven dollars, I believe, maybe even ten. I don't. Know, it was one of the three because they do. That's usually how they price stuff: four dollars, seven dollars, ten dollars, or like fifteen. Or twenty, depending on what it is. But they don't usually do like they don't do like five dollars or three dollars. Um, and it just was not that interesting to me. I did find a show called The Comeback, which I, which has Lisa Kudrow, which looked really interesting to me. Um, and I found that at St. Vinny's, uh, which is a local thrift store in Oregon. And um, uh, this one looks really good. I love Lisa Kudrow, honestly. Um, Courtney and Jennifer more for the looks. I mean, they're fine actors, um, but I think Lisa's the funniest. And um, unfortunately, I heard really good things about the second season to, uh, in addition to the first season, but um, the second season is really expensive because it, it's the complete series. Um, so when I picked this up, I didn't know that. When I researched it more at home, I'm like, crap, if I really like this, it's going to be annoying finding season two. Anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Um, so Cougar Town, I'm excited to check this out. Um, she's pretty funny, so I hope she isn't. I hope she isn't um, typecast. I hope it's not the exact same kind of neurotic character because I'd like to see her do something different. So we we will we will see. I believe this show, yeah, it shows two two thousand nine, and I think this went on for five or six seasons. So I think it was generally pretty popular. Um, it's an ABC show, which is kind of interesting. ABC, I feel like, doesn't get their shows released that much. Well, a lot of sitcoms, honestly, don't either get finished or they only get, like, a season or no seasons released on DVD. So this one is really cool. I guess this is, um, this is, 
Columbia Pictures. I don't know what channel this aired on, but I only got it for Jennifer Garner, significant others. Oh, she's just I I love turning thirteen, going on thirty. Um, and I know she's an alias, but I haven't seen that. But honestly, I really I really liked thirteen, going on thirty. And this only has six episodes. Um, but it does have a featurette, which is really cool. So I'm very excited to check this one out. It looks it looks interesting. I, I actually I really don't I was gonna say it looks kinda stupid, but honestly it looks kinda interesting. So um very excited for that. And then two more. This one's awesome. Patrick Warburton in the tick. I love Patrick Warburton. Uh funny guy. And this one only lasted nine episodes, and one of them was unaired. So this looks so cheesy and so stupid, but I'm excited to check it out. And last but not least, I have the first two seasons of Wings, one I'm really excited to check out. This one I've heard one of those classic sitcoms. Um, so I also found Coach seasons one and two at. Um, Big lots, but the they were the it was the Mill Creek releases, and so I knew it was going to be in those um, uh, the paper sleeves. Which honestly, the more I think about it, like I don't hate the paper sleeve. It's honestly, in my opinion, it's better than stacked discs, and it's better than double sided discs. Um, so I can get okay because yeah, you, you know. Honestly, the, like there, and it's and it's better than. Sorry, I'm fumbling over my words. It's better than like the the Simpsons seasons where they like the accordion style where you're like just rubbing against the cardboard when you pull it out. Because um, what you can do with the paper sleeves is you could like put your fingers on either end, and then it'll like separate the paper, and then you could just pull the disc up without it actually touching the paper. So honestly, as long as it doesn't jostle around on the paper and scratch. It should be fine, and if once you open it, when you buy it and you check all the discs, as long as it just stays on your shelf, it should be fine. And honestly, if you go to um, Elite, uh, like Blu-ray and DVD cases, their website, you can just order replacements. And I know it's kind of annoying; it may cost near the price of what you got, but it's like I might, I may start doing that. Um, just make sure the artwork fits the same size case. Otherwise, you're gonna have to make your own artwork. Anyway, the point of all this is. Um, I thought about getting the Coach Seasons 1 and 2, but it was like, I might as well just get the complete series, because the Coach Seasons 1 and 2 was $7, and I think the complete series is like 20 or 30 and I think there's like 5 or 6 seasons, so I was like, you know what, I'll just wait. Then I actually went to a thrift store and I found Coach Seasons 1 and 2, but the old box sets, which I was like super tempted by, but it was even more money, it was $5 each, and I was like... I don't know if they did that for all of the original seasons. If they did, maybe I'll actually just go ahead and get those because I do. I would prefer that packaging. Um, maybe if they if they put it out like that, maybe I will. Um, but I have to do some research on that, so I just passed on those. This I was actually expecting to be the Mill Creek one, but I was very pleasantly surprised when it was the old Paramount release. So very happy. Um, I've got so many sitcoms to check out i'm on season seven almost i'm like halfway through season seven of that 70s show so i have i have literally only like um i've literally only like a season and a half to go on that 70s show i think my next show will be community or 30 rock probably 30 rock because friends was 10 seasons um i didn't do a nine season show but so that 70 show is eight seasons 30 rock is seven community is six um i don't know if i have any five season shows i wonder i wonder i think taxi might be five seasons but i don't have all of taxi right now i could buy the complete series though i don't have to order it like i just thought it'd be kind of cool because you're counting down um but yeah and then all these like i think once i f i think how it, i'll do it is friends finish then 70 show i'll do i think i'll do 30 rock then community and then i think i'll just do jump arounds and i obviously i can watch other shows in the meantime but i don't want to like watch all of seasons one and two of wings because if i'm going to pick a show then i'm just going to want to stick with it so um i may watch an episode of wings i may watch an episode of tick i may watch an episode of broad city or back to you but i probably won't sit down and watch the whole season or seasons 
until I'm done with um, with community. After community, I think I'll do a lot more jumping around rather than just like picking a show because that's kind of why I've been wanting to build up my sitcom collection is to to be able to jump around. Um, I'm back. Um, holy crap! I was gone for like two hours. I just something happened and I anyway I don't really remember what I was talking about I think it was about sitcoms and just jumping around at some point once I'm done with community um, but yeah there's shows like rules of engagement I've been trying to just get my sitcom collection up because I like having shows to go to bed to or just chill out and watch rules of engagement is kind of a funny one these ones are a little bit harder to find I think um, I have seasons 2 and 4 I think the 7th season you can only get from Australia um, but yeah, anyway, that's my haul, and uh, I'm really upping my sitcoms and stuff, and I just keep buying and buying and buying. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to continue collecting, and I hope you enjoy these update videos, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.